Hello all, this is Dr. Kartika from Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about tissue weighting factor and effective dose in basic radiation quantities in medical physics. Okay, first of all, see this picture. What do you infer from this picture? And see the second picture. These pictures are the samples of uh, nuclear disasters which was happen around the world. Uh, we consider the major four nuclear accidents. First one is uh, Fukushima nuclear disaster. It was happened in 2011. And the second one is Chernobyl disaster. It was happened in 1986. And the third one is Three Mile Island accident in 1979. And one more is SL1 USA accident which was happened in 1961. For this I have made a case study and I have shared the link for you. Okay. First of all, uh, before going to the topic, what do you mean by activity? Here, activity means radioactivity, which is mentioned as A. What do you mean by radioactivity in medical physics? Uh, what is the unit of radioactivity? We know that radioactivity unit is Becquerel. Actually, it was represented as capital B and small q. Then what is radioactivity? Okay, how do we relate this Becquerel with radioactivity? Okay, uh, here how much radioactivity we have in a source, it is called radioactivity and the unit is Becquerel, here the Becquerel it represents the quantity of radioactive material in which one atom is transformed per second or number of nuclear transformation or disintegration per second. Okay, here uh, the voltage unit is Curie, Curie Ci. Uh, and 1 Curie Ci, it is more or less equal to 3.7 into 10 power 10 TPS. TPS is, we know the transformation per second. So here, 3.7 into 10 power 10 Becquerel, it becomes 37 into 10 power 9 Becquerel. So we represented as 1 Curie, 1 Ci, it is equal to 37 Giga Becquerel. Because it is 10 power 9. Okay. What do you mean by exposure? What do you mean by radioactive exposure? Actually, the quantity of photons that produces in air ions, it carrying one coulomb of charge per one kilogram of air. It is called radioactive exposure. One X unit, it is equal to one coulomb per kilogram in the air. Okay. Here, the older one is Rangan. The older unit is Rangan. It is represented as capital R. Here, 1 R, it is equal to 1 electrostatic unit of charge, ESU, divided by 1 cc of R at STP. Here, 1 X unit, it is equal to 3881 R. R, 1 R, it is equal to 2.58 into 10 power minus 4 coulomb per kilogram. Here, the energy absorption per unit mass of air, 1x unit, it is equal to 34 gray in the air and 1r, it is more or less equal to 87.7 ergs per gram in the air. Okay. What is erg? Why do we use ergs? Actually, in physics, erg is used to do, mention the work done of any quantity in uh, physical activity of uh, elements okay what do you mean by this kerma kerma is kinetic energy released in the medium here the unit is joule per kilogram the SA unit is gray gray is represented as capital G small y when the reference material is air the quantity is called air kerma okay one air kerma it is equal to 114 r what is r R is run gun. Here, 1 R it is equal to 87.6 ergs per gram R. 1 joule per kilogram of gray it is equal to 114 R. Here, 1 gray air karma is resulted by an exposure of 114 R. And air karma it decreases continuously with increasing depth in the absorbing medium. Okay, and what do you mean by this absorbed dose? What is absorbed dose? What is absorption? Actually, the unit of absorbed dose, it is mentioned in grey. Here, our bodies absorbs energy when exposed to ionizing radiation. This energy absorbed per unit mass, it is called absorbed dose. 
so here one grade is equal to one joule per kilogram actually this is a useful unit because we know that the greater the absorbed dose a person receives the greater the damage or risk of damage from the radiation exposure okay then what is the unit of absorbed dose we know that the older unit is rad rad is radiation absorbed dose so one hour it is equal to 100 ergs per gram it is more or less equal to 10 power minus 2 gray here one gray it is calculated as 100 rad here one hour exposure one rangan exposure it is more or less equal to 87.7 ergs per gram of air it is more or less equal to 95 ergs per gram in muscle tissue here one rad tissue dose of 100 ergs per gram it is equal to one run gun of one rad okay uh, how do we relate this kerma and absorb dose see here the picture shows the graph for dose and depth in material attenuated we know that the kerma it represents the transference of energy from the photons or neutrons to the directly ionizing particles okay and the subsequent transference transference of energy from these directly ionizing particles to the medium uh, medium means like air or tissue it is represented by the absorbed dose okay next one is equivalent dose what is equivalent dose what is equivalent dose why do we need this equivalent dose ht actually see here one gray from alpha particles is more harmful than one gray from gamma rays here the different relations and the different radiations have a different relative biological effectiveness so we need to calculate the equivalent dose ht here see here after exposure to one gray of gamma rays and after exposure to one gray of neutrons so we need to do something to correct this effect so we need effective dose calculation see here what do you mean by this equivalent dose actually we calculate equivalent dose by multiplying the absorbed dose by a radiation weighting factor here it enable us to account for the fact that different ionizing radiations cause different amounts of biological harm for the same absorbed dose see here in equivalent dose the si unit is sievert the symbol is capital s small v joule per kilogram here equivalent dose in sievert the older unit is rem it is equal to absorbed dose into wr here the absorbed dose measured in gy gray the older unit is rad it is multiplied with wr radiation weighting factor see here uh, here we have uh, different radiation types with a different radiation weighting factor here x are gamma radiation the radiation weighting factor is 1 beta same 1 for neutron radiation for less than 10 kilo electron volt to uh, 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 it is 5 10 kilo electron volt to 100 kilo electron volt it is 10 100 to 2 mega electron volt it is 20 2 mega electron volt to 20 mega electron volt it is 10 for alpha radiation it is 20 okay and uh, we have to uh, calculate the equivalent dose so ht it is equal to summation wr and dtr here dtr is the absorbed dose average over the tissue or organ t due to radiation r see here some tissues in the body are uh, more easily damaged by radiation than others so we say that the cells are more radio sensitive so we need to do something to correct this effect okay uh, so we have to calculate the effective dose e it is equal to summation wt multiplied with ht here ht is your equivalent dose in the tissue or organ t and wt is the weight, weighting factor for tissue t okay see here the tissue weighting factor it represents the contribution of tissue t to the total risk due to stochastic effects resulting from uniform irradiation of the whole body so we have to uh, take in the whole body tissue weighting factor into account see here here uh, we have uh, some icrp publications here the organs in the body which are more sensitive to the radiation damage have the highest tissue weighting factors see here uh, here i've listed the tissue with uh, weighting factors note how the factors are added to one see here 
different organs have different tissue weighting factors okay and here in tissue weighting factor uh, uh, it represents a relative contribution of irradiation of each organ or tissue to the total determinant to the effects resulting from uniform irradiation of the whole body so uh, the desirable and the uniform equivalent dose over the whole body it should give an effective dose numerically equivalent to the uniform equivalent dose see here it will be achieved by normalizing the sum of tissue weighting factors to one okay here the effective dose which is the best measure we have the risk associated true measure of risk with all exposure to ionizing radiations because it gives us a system which we can use to compare the risk arising from internal and external exposures whether these be uniform whole body exposures or partial body exposures okay here uh, the main concept of effective dose is it combines the equivalent dose to the various body organs and tissues in a way which correlates well with the total of the stochastic effects okay here uh, we measure the radiation dose a person receives in millisievert or milli rem suppose when considering the external exposure it will be microsievert per hour or milli rem per hour here the dose which is equal to dose rate multiplied with the time of exposure time period of exposure is very important okay and we have converting units see here how curie is converted into becquerel one becquerel it is equal to 1 dk per second or one transformation or disintegration per second so one ca it is equal to 37 giga becquerel already we have seen and we have uh, one civet it is morely more or less it is equal to 100 rem see here how uh, converting units from curie to becquerel and rem to civet and here i have listed some old and new units for radioactivity exposure air karma dose and equivalent dose see here the relationships for old and new units for radioactivity the older one is curie we know that and the new one is becquerel and the relationship is one becquerel is equal to 0 0.27 into 10 power minus 10 curie and while coming into exposure r it is coulomb per kilogram one coulomb per kilogram it is equal to 3876 r and r karma the unit is gray one r karma it is equal to 1.4 r and the dose we have older one is rad and the new one is gray one gray it is equal to 100 rad and equivalent dose rim it is it is uh, used in old one and in new unit is sievert one sievert it is equal to 100 rims okay here i have attached some assessment questions for you to convert 500 milli curie into mega becquerel like that i have attached some more questions for your reference thank you